The storm has moved on to wreak its havoc elsewhere and people are left to take in the destruction. On Cebu Island, villager Linlin Golfin says she didn't think the winds would be strong enough to destroy her house. I don't know what to do, she says. This was one of the most intense typhoons to ever hit land. It tore across the Philippines, sparing the capital Manila, but smashing its way through a string of islands, Sama, Leyte, Cebu and Panay. Coastal communities were lashed with winds of more than 200 kilometers per hour. They knew it was coming. Hundreds of thousands had left their homes and sought shelter. But not everyone fled, and despite huge evacuation efforts, a number of people have been killed, the final death toll not yet clear. The storm triggered landslides and floods, flattened houses, and cut off power supplies and communications. Thousands of soldiers are now racing to reach isolated communities, particularly Tacloban in Leyte, where there are reports of bodies lining the streets. Almost all of the city's buildings and its airport have been damaged. Only military flights can bring supplies. Many of the areas hit were already struggling with the aftermath of an earthquake last month, which left hundreds dead and tens of thousands living in temporary shelter. Hundreds of thousands more have now lost their homes. As they come to terms with that loss, the typhoon is barreling its way across the South China Sea, heading for Vietnam. Emily Thomas, BBC News.